Hey everybody, my name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. And we have an hour together for yoga. And today we're going to be talking about balance and experiencing how to best assist our balance. And balance comes from awareness, stability, and once we have stability, then we can build on that and maybe bring movement into it. But first of all, we need to establish our foundation. There's no point um, moving already if we're not stable ourselves. So wherever you are seated, whether it's in a chair, you're on the floor, doesn't matter how you're seated, doesn't matter what it looks like, but we're gonna really get clear about what a foundation is. I'm sitting up on a block because that feels better in my body. The higher your hips are above your knees, sometimes the more ease you feel in especially the lower back. So you get to choose where you would like to begin. And then from there, micro adjustments just to make sure you're as comfortable as you possibly can and of course you can change this at any time you don't have to wait for me to shift and change your body we'll take a big breath in and exhale it out another three like that feel free to close your eyes or lower your gaze and start to tune in to this moment. Start to notice the support underneath your body. And notice how you are receiving that support. So if you're resisting it a little with your muscles or if you can release your muscles so you really are fully supported and trust that foundation. Notice all the places your body is touching support. You can even take your fingertips to the chair or floor, bringing blocks up to bring that floor towards you if that's helpful and gently push down into that support so you awaken your awareness to all the places your body is supported if it's not already. Release any pressure but keep the awareness to those places. From here, I want you to draw your awareness to the midline of your body, from the crown of your head, like a plumb line going down through your spine, all the way down through to the earth. And somewhere along that plumb line is your center of gravity or a place that feels like center to you. And it'll be different for each and every one of us. So bring your awareness as best as you can to that center. You can even place your hand or hands on that place to awaken even more awareness there. And you may have chosen a place but it doesn't feel right so adjust that. Notice as you're seated here that central place if you're leaning more forward or back and then adjust that to become center as well, forward and back, not just side to side. Noticing if you are shifted to the left or the right, and again, micro movement, so you come back to a place of center. Awareness to the support underneath you, the midline of the body, and then that central place. Shift your awareness up through the center line of the body so the crown of the head is reaching upwards. Shoulders soft and away from the ears, collarbones wide. And once again, noticing 
the evenness of that center line through the center of your body, both left to right, but also forward to back. Is there anything you can adjust here to feel more grounded? Anything you can change in your body? Notice how your body feels here. If there's a whole lot of tension and tightness, see if you can ease that. Either with your breath, or changing the muscle tension in different areas. Another part of balance is getting clear. And we'll do that by focusing on our breath. So starting to notice the inhales and exhales. just as they are and getting the breath as steady as you can. Inhaling as smoothly up to the top of the breath, exhaling as steadily down to the bottom of the breath. And it doesn't matter if there's places that feel more jumpy than others, but simply do your best to smooth the breath. Breathing in and out through your nose, will calm down the central nervous system. Noticing if there's areas of the breath that you're straining or you're stretching it and seeing if you can bring it to a place where it feels sustainable and as steady as possible. Now, if you have closed eyes, bringing your awareness maybe to the center of your forehead, that third eye space, or if your gaze is lowered or your eyes are open and your gaze is soft, pick a place in front of you or down on the floor, wherever your gaze is most comfortable and pick a spot that you can rest your awareness on. This is called a drishti point, a point of focus. That's also part of being in balance. It helps. So we've got the grounding, we've got the steady breath, which settles our nervous system, settling our thoughts, and we have our focus, whether it's inner or outer focus. And all of these things help contribute to more stability. So running through that foundation underneath you, that central place that you've chosen that may shift and change throughout the session, that steady breath, and that drishti point, inner or outer focus. And notice how you feel now. And we'll be moving with the breath. So rooting down to rise, right arm, Coming to the right, palm up, inhaling up with the fingertips, exhaling down from the elbow. And your awareness can be in the foundation, it can be in that central part, that center line of the body, or the place that you chose as center. It can be in your drishti point, or it can focus on the breath you get to choose. You can go through all of them. Option to start to move from the shoulder. Taking the left fingertips towards or on the floor. Option, and I'm mirroring you, to take that right arm overhead on the inhale, exhaling down. And notice how taking things over towards one side changes things. Keep the breath steady, the gaze steady, 
and notice your foundation. If the right side is getting a little lighter, if you can root that down, get grounded. So we're redistributing our weight even within movement. You can use that left hand as support to take the weight more into the right side. And then notice that center part of you. One more and we'll take it to the other side. Right fingertips come down towards or on the floor, left palm turns up from the elbow, inhaling up, exhaling down. Reestablishing your foundation, your center line, your place of center, your focus, your steady breath. Option to start to move from the shoulder. No right or wrong way of moving, but we're guided by the breath. And with that right hand to support you, left fingertips can come up and overhead. Noticing your foundation, keeping that right hand there to redistribute your weight into the left side so it doesn't get light as you come over. We've got two more breaths here, focusing your gaze steady on the breath. Fingertips come down and they rest re-establishing all of those things, your foundation, your center line, your place of center, your steady breath, your gaze, inner and outer. From there, coming over onto hands and knees, choosing any softness you need under your knees. And if you wish to stay on the chair for a seated cat and cow, you can go ahead and do that. Setting up your foundation once again. So, hands should at least be shoulder distance apart, if not wider, spreading the fingers and thumbs nice and wide. Knees as wide as feels comfortable for you, toes tucked or untucked. Again, this is all foundational. So, and rock from side to side, forward and back. Any wrist issues, you're always welcome to come down to forearms. And then, once you've decided what feels good for you, root down through the hands, lifting up through the back of the heart, drawing the belly in towards the spine, and the gaze is neutral. Steady breath. Feel down into the support underneath you, always changing it up at any time to benefit you with the breath as it comes and goes, soft gaze. The next exhale, push into your hands, knees and feet as you round the back of the ribs up towards the sky. Inhaling, the belly comes down, gaze comes up. Exhaling and inhaling, allowing the breath to be as fluid as possible. Become aware of everything. Foundation, center line of your body has that center place that you chose changed with being on hands and knees. The gaze, inner or outer, whether your eyes are open or closed, and the steadiness of breath, all of this contributes to stability. Two or more. Coming back to center. From here, draw your knees closer and towards each other if that feels comfortable for you. To establish more stability, we'll take the left leg back behind us, toes to the floor. Inhaling forward, rolling over onto the ball of the foot, exhaling, pushing the heel back. So we're waking up the left leg. 
padding under the right knee if you need it. And again, forearms are always there if that's more comfortable for you. Coming back to center, toes to the floor, and this may be enough right here. Option to send the right fingertips out onto tent. So the fin fingers are tented. So here we are, and we've got less stability. More stability, hands under the shoulders, less stability, that right arm is extended. Coming up onto the left toes. Fix the gaze, steady the breath. Option to stay here, option to lift through the left heel um, up to hip height. Steady the breath, steady the gaze. Steady your foundation. So push down into the left hand, right knee, and right foot, whether it's the top of the foot or the toes. Push down into the right fingertips, or if you're adding on, we're extending the right leg or the right arm, shoulder height, thumb to the sky. Steady the breath, steady the gaze. Push from your foundation and use that to lift up from. Adding on, this is the inhale, exhale. Knee draws underneath the belly, elbow comes towards the knee, it does not have to get there, that's the exhale. Inhaling, extending. So once we have stability, we can add movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Three more. More or less, last one. Hand comes down, knee comes down. I'm hula hooping through the ribs. I'm back in the opposite direction. Re-establish your foundation. Re-establish what feels like center. Fix the gaze, steady the breath. Right leg draws back, toes to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling, adding movement. Waking up the back of the right leg, in your own way. Always coming down to forearms if wrists are sensitive. And then we'll come back to steadiness, stability, stillness. The breath is moving, gaze is central. Establish your place of center. And then option to extend out the left arm. Fingertips to the floor. Notice how that feels. Always coming back to the foundation if you need more stability. Option to hover the right leg. Push through the heel. It's a whole lot going on here. Notice what's happening in your whole body. Option to stay there, steady breath, steady gaze, focusing on that steady central part. Option to extend the left arm along the left ear, thumb to the sky. Option to stay here. This is the inhale. Adding movement if you have the stability. Exhale, elbow and knee come towards each other underneath the body. Doesn't matter if they meet. Inhaling, extending. Three more. Last one. 
Last one. Hands and knees come back. Knees stay as they are, a little wider. Big toes come towards each other. Sitting the hips back towards the heels. Supported child's pose. Hands, forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms. Come back to the steadiness of the breath. The inhale and the exhale. Feel the foundation underneath your body. Everywhere your body touches support. And see if you're resisting that. And sit or rest your body a little deeper down into that support. Steady breath. Steady gaze. If your eyes are closed, take the gaze inside, maybe towards the third eye place, right between your eyebrows and up a little. Come back to that central place within you and notice whether it's shifted. Another few breaths here. And then when you're ready, coming back up to hands and knees. And then we're going to take that right leg forward. Give it a little help if you need to, right underneath the shoulders. Pad the left knee if you need to. And once again, establish your foundation. So maybe you need to take that right foot out a little wider. Maybe you need to adjust the left knee forward or back. Tuck or untuck that left foot. Hands to the inside of that right ankle. And then we're just moving forward and back, figuring out our foundation. Steady the breath, steady the gaze. Wherever it is that you've chosen to pick as a drishti point. Feel this foundation with the fingers on the floor and of course you can take blocks to bring the floor to you. And then the next option is taking the hands onto that right thigh and up we come. Re-establishing your foundation here, patting the left knee if you need extra softness. Hands resting on that thigh and of course if you have support Near you, you can take that if you feel more comfortable. So we have the foundation. We have the center line of the body, and possibly that central place that may have shifted. The breath is as smooth and as steady as we can make it, breathing in and out through our nose. And your drishti point, your point of focus, is somewhere about eye height that you can rest your eyes on softly. As you do this, we're stable. Within the stability, we can start with movement. Inhaling and exhaling. And of course, movement challenges our stability so you get to decide if this feels comfortable for you. Coming back to a central place of stability for you. Option to root down and rise up steady breath fixing your gaze. Option to stay here. Option to challenge the balance Soften the gaze and then close the eyes. Get really clear with your foundation underneath you. Pick a place right between the eyebrows and up third eye and focus there. Notice your central place 
that center line and steady the breath. Last option here is to drift the hands up off the thigh and we'll take the arms in a cactus. Elbow, shoulder height, palms towards the front of your mat. Another two breaths here. You can keep blinking open or softening your gaze or even looking through your eyelashes. Next, exhale, hands come down, open the eyes if they were closed. Hands come to the inside of that right leg and we're taking the right leg back. Circling anything you need to to soften through the body and then the left leg comes forward. Give it a little help, patting the right knee if you need to. Hands to the inside of the left ankle. Establish your foundation, maybe heel toeing that front leg in or out. Once you have this, notice how this feels. Hand comes up onto the left thigh and up we come. Again, any adjustments you need in your foundation, please go ahead. Hands resting on the left thigh. Steady the breath, soften the gaze. Pick a drishti point. Once you establish a foundation, we start to move from there. Just playing little movements, forward and back with the pelvis. Notice how that feels. Come back to a place that feels the most stable for you. Always adjusting if you need to. You've got your foundation evenly spread. You've got your center line, possible place of center. Steady breath and your gaze is fixed. Option to stay here, option to soften the gaze so that that drishti point gets a little softer in your gaze. You can squint through your eyelashes so it gets softer still, or option to close your eyes. Notice your foundation, adjust it if you need to. Notice that central line, that plumb line in your body, the place of center. Steady the breath. Steady the gaze, whether it's internal or external. And the last option is to release the hands from the thigh, taking the arms into a cactus. Palms towards the front of your mat. Steady breath. Steady gaze, internal or external. You've got that plumb line of the body, the place of center and your foundation. Two more breaths here. Always coming out early if you prefer. The next exhale, the hands come down to the thigh. Blink the eyes open if they were closed. Hands come to the inside of that left leg, taking the left leg back. And from here, any intuitive movements that you have to release tension. And coming back to a child's pose, supported or not. Notice all the places your body is touching support. Sink into that support. Steady. And from here, staying for as long as you like, or when you're ready, 
coming back up, tucking the toes, or if there's another way you would like to come to standing, walking the hands back. Once again, everything is foundation, fixing the gaze, steadying the breath, and then I will meet you standing. Coming up to standing. And from here, taking the feet at a comfortable distance. And if you need support of a countertop or the back of a chair or a wall handy, you can go ahead and do that. We root down through our foundation, spreading the feet wide, re-establishing that connection downwards and making sure it's as evenly distributed as it can be. As we root downwards, we lift upwards. That central line of the body, and maybe that place of center has shifted and changed. Palms towards me. And again, awareness to where your weight is in the front or the back of that plumb line. And bring it as best as you can to center. Collarbones wide, shoulders down and away from the ears. Steady the breath, and the gaze is resting on that drishti point, somewhere at eye height that your eyes can rest softly on. Re-establish the foundation, stability. Hands come to your hips. From here, and I'm mirroring you, taking the right foot forward hip distance or a comfortable distance for you. Once again, as this shifts, come back to all the places of awareness for balance. Spreading the feet wide, that central place, that plumb line, the steady breath, the gaze. Option to stay here. Option to heel toe the right foot towards or even in front of the left foot. As we narrow the stance, things get more challenging. So we root down through both feet, plumb line up the body, central place, steady breath, steady gaze. Great place to be right here, adjusting as you need to option to stay here and I'm going to turn to the side, drawing the right foot closer towards the left. So the left toes are grazing the right heel. We've narrowed and now shortened the stance, root down through your feet, wide toes, fix your gaze, central line of the body, center of your body, and the breath. Excellent place just to notice here. Notice all the micro movements that your body is doing to adjust you to stay here safely. And again, if you need support, take it. If you're adding on wherever that foot is, and it doesn't, it can be a, um, further apart, it can be further forward, you get to choose. The option here is to bend through the knees. Inhaling. The weight comes into the right foot, left heel lifts. Exhaling, we're drawing the right foot back. Le um, left, the weight back into the left foot, right toes lift, even the ball of the foot. Inhaling forward, exhaling backwards. And again, if this is not for you, come back to a previous modification. Lengthen or widen your stance. Once we have stability, then within that, we can invite in movement. The breath is steady. Option to stay here. Option to lift the foot entirely. No momentum. So it is a controlled movement. Instead of Swinging backwards and forwards, keeping it steady and mindful. Okay. 
Option to stay here. Option to take the arms up in a cactus. We've got less stability as we take the center of gravity higher up. Option to take the arms up above you as if you're holding on to a beach ball or a basketball. And the last option here is to start to soften your gaze, maybe squinting through your eyelids to that drishti point or closing the eyes entirely. And if you need to re-establish more stability for that to happen, then go ahead. Coming back with your hands on your hips, gaze lifts or opens, and then we come back to stillness, taking the right foot next to the left, big breath in, exhaling it out. Same thing, other side. So the feet are a comfortable distance and we're rooting down through both feet. This time, the left foot comes forward. And this may be enough already. Fixing the gaze, steady breath. You've got all of those different points of focus. Option to stay here, option to heel toe, the left foot towards the right, maybe even in front of the line of the right foot. Narrowing the stance. Then, option to draw the heel back any amount that you need to. And maybe the right toes gaze, graze the back of the left leg. Great place to be right here. Fixing the gaze. Feel into your foundation. Steady breath. Central line of your body. If you're adding on, on the inhale, we're taking the weight into the left foot, lifting the right heel. Exhale, taking the foot into the right leg, lifting the left toes, maybe even the ball of the foot. No momentum, so it is a controlled movement. And again, any support you need for that to happen, go ahead. We're building balance here. We don't have to get there immediately. If you want to add on, maybe the foot comes up entirely from the floor. Maybe it doesn't. If you want to add on, arms come in a cactus. You move away from the wall a little bit. Notice what you're feeling. Always staying within that steady breath. Staying within your place of comfort. If you want to add on, the arms come up as if you're holding that beach ball. And we're lifting up the center of gravity here so it becomes less stable. Wherever you are, the option is to start to squint through your eyelashes at that drishti point. And then the last option is to close your eyes and notice how that feels. If you need to reestablish, oops, there we go. If you need to reestablish that point of focus or change up your support, go ahead. Another three breaths. Wherever it is that you are. The next exhale, we're going to take the feet back to stillness. Open the gaze, left foot steps away, and here we are. Big breath in, exhale it out, steady. From here, 
hands come to the hips. Fixing your gaze, making sure your foundation is as solid as you can be. If you need the support of something, then take it. On the inhale, we're rocking forward. Our body weight comes forward, and on the end, your toes are gonna to grip the earth. On the exhale, we're rocking back into the heels, and your toes will probably lighten. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add on, steady breath, steady gaze. On the inhale, we're lifting up through the heels. Exhaling, rolling back down. The height of the heels is not important. What we want is the smoothness of movement. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to add on, arms come in front of the thighs. On the inhale, we're drifting the arms up as the heels lift. Exhaling, taking them down. Notice what's happening through the feet, through the ankles. The ankles are rolling out or in. Try and keep them still and central to your body. Fixing the gaze, steady breath. That center line of the body. If you want to add on, the heels come higher as long as there's the smoothness of the movement. So something you can do when you're just, you put a few minutes to stand around if you're waiting, if you're at home and you're about to make dinner with the surface in front of you, stabilizing. The big gestures are fantastic, but it's so important to keep small movements going through the day to keep the stabilization of the body. Option, next time you come up, three breaths. Heels lifted. Making any adjustments you need to to keep yourself stable. And on the next exhale, we take the heels down. Beautifully done. Any um, relaxation you need through the shoulders, you go ahead. And then from here, hands on the hips, and then we're taking the feet in closer. Narrowing the stance, and this already can feel like a lot. If you have a countertop, or the back of a chair, or a wall handy as we're coming into tree, please go ahead. Everything is the same, no matter what we're doing. We root down through the foundation, midline of the body, central part of the body, wherever that is for you. We establish the drishti point and we steady the breath. All of this gathers towards a place of stillness. From here, rooting down into the left leg, bending through the right knee. Great place to be right here. Hips even as we take the right knee out towards the side, keeping the ball of the foot on the floor. This is enough right here. If you want to add on, we'll take the heel over the top of the left leg. Once again, noticing if we're turning over towards the right side and keeping the hips facing forward, kind of a little bit like car headlights. Fix the gaze. Notice if you're uh, drifting ahead in your awareness to what's coming, bring it back to this moment. Foundation, center, drishti point, steady breath. Option to take the inner right ankle to the left ankle. Option to take the right foot into the left shin. Everything draws in towards that midline of the body. So you're using that to create stability. Option to stay here. Option to take that right foot onto the upper thigh, just not onto the knee joint. Any support you need, go ahead. Foundation, drishti point, place of center. Focus on the breath. 
notice the micro movements that are happening in the standing leg. Standing leg and bent foot, a bent knee, come, everything comes in towards each other for that drishti point to get the stability. Option to take the arms into a gesture that feels like stabilization to you. First finger and thumb towards each other, that's the mudra of focus. You've got a few breaths here. Foundation. Central place. Midline. Steady breath. Focus. You can start to squint through your eyelashes if you want to challenge your balance. You can close your eyes if you wish to. Three breaths left. Steady breath. Last exhale, hands come to the hips or that foundation, that stability, and we take the right leg down. Bend through the knees, loop through the hips, and then back in the opposite direction. Last thing, other side. Feet coming towards each other. Bend through the left knee as you establish the right foot as foundation. Take those feet wide. Hands to your hips. Great place to stay. Keeping the hips facing forward, taking the left knee out towards the side. Stable breath. Steady gaze. Central line of the body. Awareness to center. The heel can come over the top of the right foot or the heel can come to the inside of the right ankle, toes to the floor. Foot can come to the shin, foot and shin draw in towards each other, that midline of the body. Or the foot can come to the thigh, but just not the knee joint. Anything that is connecting right to left is drawing in towards the midline. As you do that, you're going to find a rising. Steady the breath, steady your gaze. Root down through the foundation. Arms can come in a gesture, if you wish. First finger and thumbs towards each other. That's the mudra of focus right there. Clarity of mind. Steady the breath. Steady the gaze. Midline of the body. central place. If you want to, start to soften the gaze, close the eyes. Three breaths. Notice the slight adjustments and come back to the steady breath, the steady foundation, the midline, the central place the drishti point. Float the eyes open, hands come to the hips, and we release the left leg. Hula hoop through the hips, and back in the opposite direction. Coming back to mountain pose, foundation, drishti point that you're focusing on, midline of the body, central place, steady breath. And when you're ready, I'll meet you down on the earth. Here we are down on the floor again, coming to your back, making sure you have anything handy you need for relaxation. Readjusting yourself. So once again, you have a solid foundation Playing around, if you're leaning more to one side than the other. And establish as much of a steady foundation as you possibly can. Fixing the gaze on the ceiling or inside. Steady breath. 
that central place in your body, that plumb line, and maybe the center place that you chose, and maybe that shifted. I'm going to keep this, and then we're drawing the knees in towards each other and taking the knees up over the belly. So we're drawing the knees in a little. Ankles, knees, thighs, all in towards each other. Arms in a cactus or a T, depending on what's comfortable for you. Again, establishing a foundation. Steady breath and go inside. Notice that central place. We're going to slide the knees a little bit further over the hips. The closer they are towards your chest, the easier it's going to be for you. The further over the hips they are, the less stable we become because the center of gravity is a little bit further away from our center. Keeping a place where the belly is not lifting up towards the ceiling, but you can draw the belly in towards the spine and keep that integrated feeling in your foundation. Heels can come down. That's going to lessen the pressure. Heels up. Um, knee height is going to add, so you get to decide. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're going to slide the feet away from you just about three or four centimeters or so. That's the exhale. Inhale back to center. So we're just rocking forward and back, but try and keep momentum out of the movement. So it's controlled. Breath is steady. Next time we bring the knees either towards over the hips or away, option to keep them there. Notice what's happening to your foundation. Keep the pelvis rooted, the back rooted all the way through the back, especially the mid back here and the lower back. And if you need to adjust the knees for that to be solid, then go ahead. Option to stay here. Steady breath, steady gaze. Option to take the arms up towards the ceiling as if you're holding a basketball or a beach ball above you. Wide or as close together as you like. And that means we're narrowing the foundation. Stay here or shift the feet, maybe two centimeters away. Keep the solid foundation. Steady breath, steady gaze, whether it's internal or external. If you want to add on, take that imagined beach ball over your head. So the knees are slightly away, the arms are slightly away, but we're reaching through the fingertips, drawing in as if you really do have a beach ball there, as if you're drawing everything into center. And then from there, hands up to center, knees in towards your chest, give yourself a hug, rock and roll a little bit from side to side. Knees come down to the floor. Shifting your hips to the right side. Knees come into center. Arms in a cactus or a T. Knees over towards the left. Deep twist here. And if there's another twist you prefer, go ahead. Right shoulder grounded as much as possible. Gazing over that right shoulder. Steady breath. Feel the foundation underneath you. Take any support from props that feel, make this feel better for you. Steady breath 
allow your body to rest in that support instead of resisting it. Gaze comes to center. Knees draw up to center too. Feet down. Shift your hips to center and then over to the left. Arms in a T or a cactus. That left shoulder in particular stays rooted. Knees draw up and over to the right. You can support those legs with any props that you need to, making sure that you're working with your body, that it can rest here softly. Gaze over that left shoulder if you want to, taking the twist all the way up through to the base of the skull. Steady breaths. Use the foundation underneath your body to stop resisting it so you can really be held here. When you're ready, coming up to center with your gaze. Knees come to center, feet down, re-establishing once again that central place. From here, constructive rest, knees come towards each other, ankles apart, or coming to your relaxation. Whatever that looks like, it doesn't matter as long as it feels like you can really connect downwards into the earth and start to let go. And as you start to get comfortable, I'm going to come up to guide you. So again, there's no right and wrong here. There's no particular way you need to look in relaxation. It's about how it feels for you. So connecting downwards, adjusting your body as you need to. And when you're ready, taking a breath in Exhaling, surrendering your bones down to the support that they have, holding them. And feel the relief of not having to do anything. Taking your awareness to all the places you are connected downwards. And imagine, sense, or feel that coming out from where your body is connecting to the earth, there are roots growing downwards. Spreading out from your body like tree roots down into the earth. Past the surface of the earth, the soil down, past the rocks, through the underground rivers, and everything else underneath, burrowing deeper and deeper, maybe even to the center of the earth itself. Feeling yourself so connected down to the earth. It almost feels like even if you wanted to, you couldn't move. And notice the stability. Notice how deeply connected you are to this planet that supports us every moment of every day. And give up any resistance to it as best as you can, so you truly are held. Notice how that feels. And 
Maybe there's one root in particular coming from that very central part of you down deep into the core of the earth. And you can see that root as a cord, a light or a thread or indeed a tree root itself. And keep that tethered. stability that we can come back and orient ourselves to keeping that sense of connectedness to the earth maybe to that central part of you allow the roots to dissolve in your awareness, your imagination. Maybe apart from that one tether, from that central place. Gathering your awareness from the center of the earth up through that core to that very central place in your body, part of your midline. Notice, bring your awareness to the space around you. As you start to bring more mindful breaths in and out. And as you're ready, starting to bring movements in through your body. Expanding wide, giving yourself a hug, curling in, drawing your knees in, whatever feels right for you. And then when you're ready, making your way up to a place where you would like to finish your practice, and if that is just as you are, then stay there. Re-establishing your foundation if you shifted. And maybe bringing that awareness to that central place tethered to the earth to stabilize you. Taking your hands in a gesture of closing that feels right to you. And maybe your palms simply resting over that central place to connect to that stability within you. Take a breath in. Exhale, chin towards your chest, your awareness going inwards and maybe downwards. Thank yourself for being here, for establishing the stabilization within your body. From my heart to yours, namaste.